What is going on, everybody? It is your boy, Sir MC Koi, and we are back with week four of the Maryland Terrapins Dynasty. This week, we have a matchup at home against the Troy Trojans, a team that boasts one of the nation's best passing offenses early in the season. Quarterback Brandon Silvers has thrown for five touchdowns and zero interceptions thus far in the year. So we're going to have a big task up to the plate if we expect to be able to stop this Troy offense. We're still not sure what this Maryland team is capable of. We've seen them play down to opponents, and then we've seen them play up to opponents. But we've got to win these early games in the season because as we get on, we have matches against number nine, Florida State, number two, Ohio State. It's not going to get any easier. we got to take every win while we can get it. Let's go. And we will start things off here with Troy with the football. Silvers throwing on first and ten, looking for Questenberry. That'll fall incomplete. Troy loves to run the no huddle, so look out for that a lot. Silvers to pass again on second and ten, and it's intercepted by J.C. Jackson. On just his second throw of the game, he has his first interception of the season. So, now we'll see the Maryland offense take over with Lorenzo Harrison getting four yards up the middle on second down. That'll lead to a third down and six. Pigram to pass, looking over the middle, and Jaquiel Vey just drops it. Come on, man. But we're going for it. It's fourth and six, so, I mean, I guess why not? Pigram rolling out, throws on the run, and it's tipped and incomplete, and that's going to make you wonder. Maybe they should have just settled for a field goal. So Troy takes over first and 10 in. Brandon Silver's on the keeper, and he's going to have some space to the outside before being taken down after game six. Third and two upcoming. Silver's hands it off to Jordan Chun, who tries to hurdle, and he finds himself going backwards five yards. Great stop by the defense. Uh, this is another game where they have a pretty weak legged kicker or punter, so we're going to see DJ Moore return this almost up to midfield. Second down now from Maryland, Pigram, quick throw to the outside, looking for more, and that one is nearly intercepted. Pigram starting the day 0 for 4. Not, that's not good. Third down and 10, Pigram senses the pressure and he'll try to escape, and he does. Stops, throws downfield, it's caught by Derek Hayward. 38 yards, and that is a good first reception. Second down and 11, Pigram rolls out, looks Enzo, nearly intercepted. Avery Edwards was his intended receiver. That'll set up third down and 11. Pigram going screen out for Lorenzo Harrison, who doesn't have blockers ahead of him. They'll pick up about three yards. And this time, Maryland will take the field goal. Oh, Troy takes over. It's a screen out for Emmanuel Thompson, who picks up eight. Second down and two. Silver's under pressure from Anna Bonham, but he gets it out to his tight end, Gabe Hill. Another gain of eight and a first down. Silvers hands it off now to Jordan Chun, who just runs into a wall. It's a gain of four. A third down and four. Silvers to pass. Good protection. Goes outside for Jordan Chun, who's able to turn up field and pick up a first down. Nice play there by Troy. Cross midfield now. Silvers tries to take off, and he's going back across midfield. Brought down by Chandler Burkett. Third down and 16, Silvers. Pressure again incoming, and it got to him a little bit. That throw was way off the mark. And we continue to hold Troy scoreless. Delayed handoff going to Lorenzo Harrison. It's good for a gain of five. But now a third down and medium. Pigram under immediate pressure, and down he goes. Jamal Statham getting the sack. We're seeing really good defense here in the first quarter as there's a pick for Maryland. That is Rayvon Davis making the interception, our second of the first quarter. After the pick, Maryland sets up at near midfield and Harrison will get them into Trojan territory. They'll go back to Harrison on second down and this time he's gonna have a first down and more gain of 11. We've really seen Lorenzo Harrison start to get into his own the more we've 
played this year. A throw out for DJ Moore. He makes his first reception on the bubble screen. That's good for five. Nearing the end of the first quarter. Second and five again. Hand off to Lorenzo Harrison. And he's got some space and a first down. Moving the chains right now as Maryland's moving well into scoring range. Hand off again goes outside for Harrison who cuts it upfield. And that's another first down. First and 10, as we are into the second quarter now, Pegram throws to the outside, it's for Shaquille Vey, who's got some space, and he's brought down at the one yard line. First and goal. I formation, Lorenzo Harrison just walks in, and it is too easy, as Maryland has jumped out to a 2-0 lead. Brandon Weedon with Sam Silver's two. Looking at the studio, number nine Louisville has upset Number three, Florida State, one of the teams that we play here in the coming weeks. That's big. First and 10 now for Troy, trying to find some sort of an answer as Jordan Chun gets what looks to be his best run of the day as he gains seven yards. Second and three, Silver's on the keeper and he's gonna have space now. Brought down after a gain of 12. Silver's passing on second down. Pressure in coming, and Jesse Anna Bonham will bring him down. It's a loss of seven, setting a third down and 13. Send a man in motion to the tight end, Gabe Hill. Silver's goes outside for John Johnson. Yep, that is correct. That is his name, John Johnson. It's a gain of nine. So again, Maryland takes over, up by 10, and looking to add on to it as Lorenzo Harrison picks up eight yards going to the outside on second down. He's up to 48 yards now. Second and 10, handoff again, Lorenzo Harrison, and that's good for six. Harrison having a really successful day, averaging 4.9 yards per carry. They'll go to him on third and four, and this time he is shut down, only gaining two yards. So again, the Trojans take over as Silver's throwing downfield has John Johnson, and he's across midfield, finally brought down after a gain of 20. Can't get over that name. Jordan Chun takes the first down handoff, and he's got a decent gain of about four yards. Third down and six. Can the defense come up big and get another stop? Pressure in coming, but Silver's gets the throw off for Thompson, who puts it on the ground. Recovered by Antoine Brooks. We'll take a look at this replay, and it is Jermaine Carter who comes in and lays the big hit, forcing the ball out, and that is Maryland's third forced turnover of the half. Defense is absolutely getting their job done. Now the offense has another chance, but Pigram under constant pressure. Losing 10 there, it was Statham on the sack. Third down and 20. Pigram again to throw. This time has time, but it's intercepted. That's the safety, Chris Weatherspoon. And they'll return that to about the Maryland 40 yard line. So back to back turnovers. And now we see Troy take over. Handoff goes to Jordan Chun on the delay. And he will get a first down with this run and finally actually taken down after a game of 13. Now it's Henderson in the game, and look at him go. He has it. He is a lot faster. That is Jamarius Henderson picking up 17 yards. Jordan Chung's more of a power back, and Henderson's a speed back. That's Brandon Silvers keeps it himself and runs it in for a touchdown. So 10-7 now. The defense has been dominant, but one touchdown is all it takes, and we're back to a field goal game. We definitely want to see more points from our offense here. Inside two minutes, it's Pigram throwing on third and eight, being flushed out, throws on the run, and just misses for DJ Moore. Troy now is gonna have a chance to get more points on the board as they go screen on second down. Chun is wrapped up after a gain of three. Third and 12, Silvers again setting up the screen for Chun, and this time he's gonna lose yards. So they go screen on back-to-back -back plays, and the defense is a fool. Pegram floating for Jacques Kiel Bay. That's good for 19 yards. They're going to try to get some points on the board before half. Clock ticking now under 40 seconds. Pegram throws over the middle. Complete for Lorenzo Harrison. It's good for 15, and they just keep moving the chains right now. Second down on 11. Pegram. And this is the place where you do not want to get sacked as DJ Turner drops what would have been a first and goal setup. 
Third and 11. Pegram under pressure just go throws it in the flats for Lorenzo Harrison. He'll pick up five yards. And now Maryland just has to get the field goal before we go into half. As Maryland now leads 13 to 7. Defense has definitely been the deciding factor of this game. Maryland's defense is absolutely playing a little bit better here. Three inter well, two interceptions and a forced fumble. Troy has one interception themselves, but they are getting to the quarterback in Groves. We definitely need to continue to protect Pegram. That's been the, the story just really all year is protecting our quarterback. If we can keep doing that, we definitely have a chance to take this victory home. Maryland does start with the ball in the second half with a chance to add on to their lead. As Harrison will pick up three yards on first down. He's been doing really well at just consistently picking up chunk yardage with every run as he picks up seven here on the read option keeper. So now it is third and inches, and they're going to go right back to Lorenzo Harrison. He needed a couple inches and ended up getting five yards. Second down and 10 now. We'll see Pickram on the quarterback keeper who tries to make a move and he'll pick up six yards. Consistently keeping it on the ground this drive as Ty Johnson will come inches shy of a first down here. And hell, if we went for it on fourth and six, why not go for it on fourth and inches? As Harrison goes right up the middle and has a hole. There is a 12 yard gain for Lorenzo Harrison. He's up to 88 yards on the day now. First and 10, there's Pigram back to throw under pressure and down he goes. That is Statham's fourth sack today. Tyrell Pigram rolling out on fourth and 17, gets the throw underneath to Avery Edwards, who gets some yard back, and that'll make it a little bit easier for a field goal. As Maryland is now about by nine. Silver's throwing on first down, and there's Henderson, the speedy running back, breaking a tackle, and he's gonna go all the way. Troy does not take any time answering as Jamarius Henderson goes 75 yards on Troy's first play of the second half. There was only one guy who could make a tackle and he just couldn't wrap him up. So a nine point lead evaporates to a two point lead. Now as Maryland looks for an answer and Pigram throws a pick on the first play. And that is not an ideal start to the second half that Maryland was looking for as now Troy is set up with prime opportunity to take the lead here. Silvers goes hands off to Jordan Chun. He's going to lose two yards on first down. That's so big deal tackle made there by Brett Shepard. Second down and 12. Silvers over the middle for Douglas who takes a monstrous hit but holds on. That was Jermaine Edwards applying the hit. On third and four they go read option and Jordan Chun is just going to pick up the first down with that stiff one. Troy moves the chance. Now well into field goal range as Jordan Chun goes up the middle and sets up a first and goal. First and goal, they send Chun in motion. Silvers back to throw, throwing off his back foot. It's intercepted by Antoine Brooks and he's gonna have space to return it. Antoine Brooks going up the sideline. Pick six, Maryland, and just like that, they will take back their nine point lead. And that is going to be an NCAA record for the longest pick six, 102 yards. And I think it's going to be a while before that one's broke. Antoine Brooks. Very nice. So now up by nine, we'll see Henderson again. And this time, he's wrapped up after only a game of three. Jamarius Henderson is definitely a player that needs to be contained as there's an interception now for Nick Underwood. And this defense has gotten to Brandon Silvers today as he now has four interceptions. Makes me wonder if they're going to take him out. Maryland taking over first and 10. Pegram tries to find an option instead just takes off, picks up 12 yards and a first down. In the red zone now, handoff to Lorenzo Harrison getting to the outside and that ankle tackle may have just saved a touchdown. Gain of six. Now it's Ty Johnson in the game and Johnson picks up seven yards himself. First down and goal for Maryland. Pigram throwing over the middle for Ty Johnson who fights his way into the end zone. And Maryland extends their lead. It is now a well over a two possession lead and they're going to go for a two pointer to make this a 17 point lead. And Ty Johnson makes it look easy. Troy is falling apart right now with these turnovers. 
And if this Maryland defense can continue to ball hawk the way they have all day, this should be an easy end to a game as we near the end of the third quarter. There still is a lot of football left to play, though, as there's a screen set up for Jordan Chun on third and eight, and these screens just have not been working. Maryland with excellent starting field position as Troy Johnson just runs through first contact. He'll pick up about three yards there. Well, that'll set up a third and five. Pigram back to throw over the middle. Another interception. Pigram has not been without faults as he has now thrown his third interception. But the defense has done a very good job in bailing out the young quarterback. Let's see how long they can keep it up though as Silvers overthrows a man going out of bounds. Third and six. Silvers back to throw. Pressure incoming. It's a screen out from Anderson. And this time, it will work for them. They've been, they've been living and dying by these screens on third down. Silvers on second down, though, finds John Johnson. Good for seven yards. Still struggling to believe that's his name, but whatever. Third down and three. Silvers goes hands off now to Fry. And that is Jabir Fry. And they give him the first down there. Looks like he literally glitched into the first down. Whatever. We're up by 17 points. Silvers throws outside. It's John Johnson again now for seven yards. On second down, they motion out Fry, and it's Silvers throwing, looking to take off, and he's going to have first down yardage and more brought down. After picking up a good... Oh, there's Jermaine Carter on the tackle. Second down and five. Silvers looking towards the end zone. That's DeAndre Douglas for 12. Setting up first and goal. Handoff goes to Henderson, and Henderson is in. Troy will cut into this lead. But with the extra point, it is still a 10-point game. And Maryland's going to start killing as much clock as possible. Second down and nine. Pigram gets the throw outside for DJ Turner. He'll turn up field and get a first down. First and ten. Bay motions into the backfield, and it's going to be an option. Pitch out to Bay, and he's going to lose six. And they were ready for the triple option on that play. So second and 16, Pigram throwing outside. Just complete for Ty Johnson. He'll pick up half of the yards they need for the first down. Maryland just two for 12 on third down today. They haven't been doing very well, and Pigram's going to go down. Sacked, and they'll lose that eight yards. And Troy gets the ball back with three minutes to go. Silvers is going down. Fumble. Sack forced by Anna Bonham. He's lucky there's a lineman there to fall on it. So third and 12. Silvers under pressure again. Lobs it outside, and it's complete for Douglas. Troy keeps it alive. It's Henderson in the backfield. Silvers throwing. That's complete for Henderson, and oh my god, please contain him. He's to the outside and down, finally inside the 20, close to the 15-yard line. Somehow this guy just continues to find open space as Silvers goes. End zone, it's intercepted by Quantrez Knight. Why not interception number five on the day for Silvers? It has not been a good day for Brandon Silvers. Now at our own one-yard line, we just need a first down to kill this clock. Derek Hayward, the fullback slash tight end, picks up five. Second and five outside handoff. Ty Johnson, and he just powers his way for a first down and more. What an impressive gain of 13. Third down and seven, trying to put this one away. Screen goes out to Ty Johnson, who doesn't get the blockers. Fourth and three. So now Maryland gets the ball back with a whole 19 seconds. They could hypothetically do something here, but they need a touchdown onside kick and a field goal. And that is not going to help. Second down and 10. Maryland just looking to put this one away. Silvers, he's hit, and he is sacked. And that will be the game as Shane Cockrell gets into the backfield for a sack. And for some reason, um, the end of game, graphic, animation, whatever doesn't show, so we don't get to see highlights. But regardless, what an excellent game, and a game where DJ Moore was held to only one reception for five yards. It's an interesting story, but this was all defense. Six total turnovers, five interceptions, and a fourth fumble. This was one hell of a showing from our defense, who is just coming up with turnover time and time again with two interceptions in the end zone. That's huge. Pigram didn't really have his best day, only thrown for 140 yards, a touchdown, and three picks, and a completion percentage under 50%. The sophomore quarterback still has a lot of ways to go. Harrison had a good day, getting up to 94 yards, but for some reason he did get pulled for the entire fourth quarter. 
Again, not a big day in receiving category as our leading receiver had one reception for 38 or three receptions for 23 yards, and those were tight ends and running backs. Our running backs had more receptions than our wide receivers. In the tackling department, Jermaine Carter and Antoine Brooks leading the way. We had plenty of tackles in the backfield and a few sacks. Zana Bonham gets two, Cockrell gets one, and Burkett gets one himself. This one's going to be a real full category as we go to look at the interceptions. Underwood, Rayvon Davis, JC Jackson, Antoine Brooks, and Quantrez Knight all getting involved. A lot of those sophomores in the defense are already looking to be great players. And that just means they're going to get better. Moving on, um, you know, it wasn't really a complete game. Again, as I said, you know, the turnovers on the offensive side of the ball are an issue. If we can tone those down and continue to get turnovers from our defense, then we could absolutely be an excellent team in contention for the Big Ten. Of course, another thing we also have to do eventually is get ranked. Uh, that's something that I will continue to look at as we go through the season. As I believe this is a team sitting at 3-1 and one right now could easily find themselves in contention for the top 25. But we started it at like 80 or 90, I believe, so it's going to be tough. And you look there, that is our next opponent, Michigan State, who has allowed 20 points in total through three games. Well, moving on, we will take a look at the top 25, and look at that. No votes for Maryland which means we just have to keep doing our thing and hope that we can get up there. And as I said, we move on to our next opponent, Michigan State, who has, one of, who has a top 50 rushing offense and a pretty damn good rush defense to go along with it. They have won their first three against Western Michigan, an FCS team who actually put up the most points against them in Notre Dame. If you don't count the FCS team, they've only allowed six points in total. Brian LaWork is their leading man through the air with two touchdowns, two picks. LJ Scott has so far done pretty good through three games, almost 100 yards per game. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you're new, like the video, leave some comments as I love talking to you guys, and I'll see you guys next week. Back from the dead.